Hello everyone, welcome to ITPK. In today's video, we will learn how to wipe or retire a device using Microsoft Intune Endpoint Manager. By using wipe action from Microsoft Intune, we can wipe the devices that are no longer needed, repurposed, or missing. Users can also issue a remote command from Intune Company Portal to the devices which are registered in Microsoft Intune. A wipe action is useful to reset a device before giving that device to a new user or the device is lost or stolen. Always be careful about selecting the wipe action. Data on the device cannot be recovered after a successful wipe. The wipe method which is used to remove the data is simple a file deletion method and the drive is bit locker decrypted as a part of this action please log in to intune admin center using the url intune.microsoft.com you must be global administrator or intune service administrator to perform this wipe action once you are logged into intune admin center let's go to devices Let's go to devices. In the devices section, I have three devices here, a non-compliant device. So better to perform the section on a non-compliant device is this video is for your explanation and understanding. So let's pick up the device name desktop. In the overview section, we have all this information and we have an option retire, wipe, delete and sync and restart or a fresh start so in this video we are targeting the wipe action remember the wipe action resets the device to its factory default setting the user data is kept if you choose read and enrollment state and user account checkbox otherwise all data apps and setting will be removed on the top bar click on the wipe action when you click on the wipe action you will be prompted with few information down and it's asking are you sure you want to wipe desktop factory reset is done device with default setting and just remove all personal company data from this device you can choose whether to keep device enrolled and the user account associated with this device you cannot revert this action okay so we have two options here wipe device but keep enrollment state and associated user account and if we check the second option this will wipe the device and will continue wiping the device even the device lost the power if you select the second option please be aware that it will stop some devices from being back on again we cannot select both options if you can see my screen i am selecting the first option the second option is being grayed so we can select only one option at a time and if we didn't select any of these options and we select only the wipe action, this will remove all user account from the device, all of the data from the device, and all of the MDM policies from the device. Basically, it resets the operating system to its default setting. So once you will click on the wipe to start the process, you will get a notification here in the notification bar. So I am not wiping the device and I think it's uh, enough for your explanation so that you will be able to wipe the device by following this way. So once uh, we got a notification here for wiping a device and then we will be back here on devices section and the device will be removed from in June after few minutes or few hours. That's it about today's explanation about wiping a device from microsoft in tune i hope you will learn something from this video tutorial thanks for watching keep watching bye